Hi everybody, I'm Susan Mulvihill. Welcome back to my vegetable garden. Well, we are continuing to experience extremely high temperatures here in Spokane, Washington. And this is really starting to get old. But I didn't want to forget our video this week. So I thought what I'd talk about is why it's so important to add flowers to your vegetable garden. I've got my sunscreen on, I've got my hat, so let's do this. I planted a whole lot of sunflowers here and there in the vegetable garden. And I have to say on a selfish note, I just love having them in here because they are so perky. They make me smile. But they do so much for a vegetable garden because they attract all sorts of pollinators. So you'll always see bees buzzing around them and other types of beneficial insects. So that is cool. Later in the season, when the seeds have dried, I'll share those with the birds. But this hot weather has made the sunflowers just shoot up. Look at this one and this one up here. Holy cow! You'll notice this sunflower has a little bee friend on it right now. You might recall from one of my springtime videos that I planted dahlia tubers in this bed. Well, the plants are growing great. They even have started blooming, which is awesome. But I also added in some sunflowers without thinking how they might shade out the plants a bit. I think it's going to work out okay, but you can see they have really grown in the last couple of weeks. Flowers attract a lot of beneficial insects that are predators of some damaging vegetable pests. The beneficials need pollen and or nectar during part of their life cycle. And what's great is if they're in your vegetable garden and they spot some veggie pests while they're at it, well, that's a win-win because they're going to target those pests. And that's what you're looking for. Zinnias are a great flower to have in the vegetable garden. They are so colorful and they're definitely pollinator magnets. These ones are queenie lime orange. Don't you just love these colors? The other nice thing about zinnias is they are awesome cut flowers. But be sure to leave some out in the garden for the bees and the other beneficials. Did you know that some flowering plants repel insects from the garden? Marigolds are a perfect example of this. They have very pungent foliage and flowers. And so that works really well and they look great in the garden. Now believe it or not, this is a single plant. This is Big Duck Yellow Marigold. I started them from seed indoors earlier this year. I did not have to pinch them back or do anything. And look at this amazing bushy growth. And it's got all sorts of flowers and flower buds on it. This is an awesome variety. Another flower I've planted here in our garden is nasturtiums. Aphids are attracted to them, which you might think is a really bad thing. But actually, they will draw aphids away from their favorite veggie plants, such as cabbage family crops, and that is a good thing. But did you know nasturtiums will keep squash bugs and cucumber beetles away from your squash, pumpkin, melon, and cucumber plants? How cool is that? Because of our really hot weather, some of my carrot plants have been bolting to seed, and that means they're going to flower and set seed. You might think I should just yank the plants out, but I'm actually going to let them bloom since they are great at attracting beneficial insects. I might as well take advantage of that, right? Dill is also a member of the carrot family, so you can let them go to seed as well. Well, it's getting pretty hot outside, so I need to head back indoors. Consider adding flowers to your vegetable garden. If not this year, start next year. They add so much and do so much for the garden and for the gardener. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next week. Happy gardening!